I'll tell you something. And, of course, I may be completely wrong, but I'm pretty certain you have one of those beds, don't you? That folds up into a couch. Is that right? Look, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not I'm embarrassing you. Uh, all I mean is, is, a, is it begins as a couch. Right? You, you, spend, you spend the evening sitting on it. Well, it's probably on your own. And, and then at a certain time, and although the time is utterly up to you, it's probably always the same time, near enough. You get off the couch, you get ready for bed, and you unfold it and rearrange it in a special way, which once seemed rather complicated, but now comes to you as a second nature. And you get ready for bed again, and you get in it. Please, stop me if I'm wrong, right? And in the morning, you're woken up by the alarms. Beep, beep. If not, by the train. And you get out of bed, you get ready for work, and before you go out, you turn the bed back into a couch again. Except, except, and I, I mean, I mean, this is the best part, really, really clear. I, uh, except for the times you're late for work, perhaps. Or I don't know, you, you, you simply can't face it, right? You simply can't face folding the fucking thing up. So, so you leave it. But the moment you get back home from work in the evening, you take one look at it, right? You take one look at it, ah, yeah, yeah, and you immediately regret having left it like that. Oh, I mean, I'm amazed like that, bitterly, right? Because immediately there's a dilemma. I don't think it's too much to speak of a dilemma, do you? No. I mean, the last thing any of us wants is a dilemma, especially in the evenings. Because either you you fold the bed back into a couch again, knowing that in a few hours you'll have to fold the couch back into a bed again, or, or, of course, you leave it. Right. It's advantage, in this case, being that desolate feeling that nothing in the room has really changed or happened to distinguish between morning, evening, and night. 